hey and welcome back to the designation i'm here to bring you another video about fashion today so make sure that you stay tuned but before we dive deeper into the fashion situation make sure you subscribe to the designation you don't want to miss out on any future videos so the question that we're asking today is how has my fashion changed since moving to Morocco. I have a couple of points that I do in fact want to discuss. And the first one being that my style here in Morocco has definitely become a lot more formal than it was in the States. And by formal, I'm not saying that I'm like out in the streets wearing a ball gown or anything super fancy like that. I would say that it depends on the circle that you are kind of running with or the people that you're hanging out with or the people that you're working with. That will definitely help determine what you wear. In Colorado, people were very lax with their fashion. Because people were so relaxed with their fashion and the weather was always so variable, you would literally see people with like big heavy coats basketball shorts and maybe flip-flops or socks and flip-flops. It just depended on what people felt like at the time. Here in Morocco, I would say that I am dressing more of how I've always wanted to dress in that I've always wanted to have an atmosphere where I would just dress nicer, where my relaxed clothes, like the sweater that I'm wearing, was cute and also comfy, but just not like a sweatshirt. I put in a little bit more effort to make myself more presentable because the people around me are a lot more presentable, if that makes sense. So like today I'm wearing this sweater. I actually got the sweater in the States. This is from JCPenney's and so it's super cute. It's very transitional with the pants that I'm wearing, which are from Fashion Nova. And the shoes that I wore with my outfit today are these bad boys here, which I got from Aldo, and they're so cute. They're so pointed, and they're a little scuffed, but I love these shoes, and they go perfectly with the outfit that I have on now. So when it comes to dressing conservatively, I always get the question, like, what do you wear? And obviously that's what the video is about, but in particular, people mean like, what do you wear when you're in a Muslim country? For me, again, I'm wearing this outside. I do not have to cover my face. I do not wear a hijab, a niqab. I think that's how you say it. If not, please correct me. For me, that's not my religious affiliation. That's not something that I feel like I need to do. Here in Morocco, it's so beautiful. It's so open to the point where you don't have to feel like you need to um, wear those items to be a part of everyday life with everybody else. You can literally wear whatever you want. However, for me, I am more conservative when it comes to the way that I dress. Usually when it comes to like my legs, I always have my legs covered in some form or fashion. I usually am wearing pants. If I wear a skirt, I usually wear like nylons or stockings to go with my skirt. If it's the summertime, maybe I'm a little more lenient, but I like for my skirts or dresses to come below my knee or longer. And that's just for me. I do not feel comfortable showing my legs off to the world. That goes with my shoulders as well. I may on occasion wear like my shoulders out if it's a really, really, really hot day, but nine times out of 10, I might wear my off the shoulder or I might wear my spaghetti strap shirt and then put a cardigan or a sweater or something over top. Let's get real honest really quickly. So for me as a black female who also is American, I draw a lot of attention to myself. And I'll just give you an example. Today, with the outfit that I'm wearing, I wore this outfit outside everywhere that I had to go today, and I got hit on, I got talked at, I got stared at, it was just, it was kind of a lot today, it was kind of interesting. I don't know why, because I feel very plain Jane today, maybe it's my hair, something to do with my hair, but yeah, even wearing a sweater, I feel like I'm very much on show. So imagine if I decided to wear my legs out and then wear my boobs out or something like that, wear my arms out, I would bring a lot of attention to myself, not only as a tourist, American tourist, 
but as a black American person and I just do not feel comfortable with that. With my fashion, I would love to be more out to wear brighter colors and things like that, but I personally just do not feel comfortable with doing that because I don't want to bring added attention to myself when I'm already very attention grabbing or whatever you want to call it because maybe my skin color, maybe it's the way that I do my hair, I don't know. But yeah, that's just me. So I hope it's okay that I got a little real on you for a second. Let's get back to the other stuff now. <laughs> Where I live, the sidewalks and the streets, they're, they're developed, but we've got some cracks and things like that in the streets and in the roads. So it's really difficult for me to wear heels on a daily basis. I've got this box that I have been filling up day by day by day with clothes and things that I'm just not wearing anymore because my style has changed. The clothes are just not appropriate and they just aren't as cute anymore. And so I'm constantly adding to the pile. And with regard to underclothes, so stay with me. This is gonna get maybe a little TMI for some of you, but you've gotten to know me a lot after my last video. I feel like I'm a lot more minimal in that regard because I don't really want my straps to show. For example, the bra that I choose to wear with a sweater like this has to be something neutral or black because if it was like a hot pink strap, you would see a hot pink strap. Here in Morocco, there are a lot of really cute stores that sell really nice intimate wear and pajamas and things like that because I think like you want to wear really cute underclothes underneath all of the things that you are in fact wearing. Because we've been talking about fashion in this video, I do wanna share some of the places that I do in fact shop at here in Morocco because a lot of you actually ask me, where do you shop at? Where do you get your clothes at? Well, let me just be honest with you. I don't shop a lot. I'm trying to save money. When I do, I do in fact have my favorite stores one store is called The New Yorker. That store is pretty amazing. You can get like t-shirts and basic kind of clothing. I obviously love the same stores that you all love like Zara and Aldo and Mango. And that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you leave a comment down below if you have any questions. I love answering your questions. And also leave a comment down below letting me know how your style has changed. Don't forget to subscribe to the Desi Nation. I'm gonna bug you all again because it's super important. You don't wanna miss out on any videos. I'm not pointing at you because that is rude. Let me put this finger down. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much again for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.